Welcome to the Cosmic Buster. My name is Bobby Cody. Uh, I just stumbled across this article, uh, and this really ties in with uh, some other article, some other videos that I've done. I just want to touch base on it real quick. Uh, this article covers uh, solar storms. Uh, it claims that there are two magnetic disturbances right now on the sun, and they fear that these uh, disturbances could cause solar flares. Solar flares are essentially when um, there's a magnetic disturbance on the sun, uh, solar flares have the capacity to go through these uh, magnetic disturbances and shoot cosmic particles out into space. And these cosmic particles, essentially solar storms or solar flares, could end up hitting the Earth. And they will eventually. Um, if one were to hit the Earth right now with our level of technology, they would cause um, massive, uh, massive electrical disturbances in the atmosphere, which could blow out uh, transformers, power stations. It would essentially knock out potentially uh, all electrically, uh, electrically powered. Uh, machinery, uh, all electricity would be out, power stations would be out, there's no running water because that runs on electricity, automobiles could potentially be destroyed by this. We're talking about going back to the Stone Age if the solar storm were to hit. Uh, it, would, it could be disaster. Uh, it could potentially mean millions and millions of people dead uh, because cities would run out of food soon. There, there, would be, there would be mass chaos. Now, here's what's interesting. We have the capacity to fortify our power stations such that this could not happen, that a solar storm would be protected. I, I believe there are some nations that do actually protect theirs. I know the United States is one that does not. I, I also want to touch base on one further aspect to this, but I'll wait until after we take a look at this article first, and then I'll touch base on that, um, because it has to do with our ancient past. We There have been solar storms in, in the past, and they've had devastating effects potentially on uh, not only humankind, but all life on Earth. And there's some obvious evidence of that, that has been misrepresented to the people, and we all have a stereotype in our head about past humanoid or hominid life on Earth. Way tens of thousand years ago, that is completely incorrect, and I want to correct that. But first, let's go to that article real quick. I'll touch on little paces on that, that, that article, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about some uh, recent research that's, uh, that casts a new light on our ancient past. Let's go to that article. Okay, this article is from the UK Express. It was by Sean Martin and is dated March 20, 2019. The headline, as you can see here, reads, Solar Storm Warning. Two sunspots are pointing directly at Earth. The article begins, Two sunspots are facing Earth and scientists say both of them have the potential to unleash solar flares in our direction. Sunspots are patches of darkness on the sun which are caused by the underlying magnetism beneath the surface. However, sometimes that magnetism bubbles up and is released in the form of slow solar flares which spew cosmic particles into space. Unfortunately for Earth, scientists have noticed two sunspots on the surface of the sun which could cause solar storms on our planet. Two potential solar storms could be cause for concern for scientists. With the Met Office recently warning we will face a monumental solar storm in the future, which could knock out Britain's technology and cost the UK almost 16 billion in damages. The country could be plunged into a blackout because it is not prepared enough for powerful solar storms, the Met Office told ministers. 
The weather forecaster believes the UK does not have sufficient infrastructure to prepare ourselves for such an event. A researcher for the Met Office said, we find that for a one in 100 year event with no space weather forecasting capability, the gross domestic product loss to the United Kingdom could be as high as 15.9 billion pounds. All right, uh, sorry for the change of background. I had to uh, change venues, essentially. All right, now notice that last thing. What they said was that it was a one in 100 year event. It's a very important aspect. Um, about once every 100 years, you get these solar storms that hit the Earth. The last one that hit the Earth that was significant was in 1859, it was called the Carrington event. Now this was before the onset, the true onset of the technological revolution. Uh, it was the beginning of the technological revolution, it still had effects. Telegraphs across the world were gone. Uh, they could no longer use telegraphs. Uh, if an event like that happened today, there would be massive power outages, blackouts, we would be in serious trouble worldwide. Uh, it would be a lot of trouble. Now, there's something else I'd like to talk about um, uh, because this ties in with the solar events, and I suspect, and other scientists suspect, that these solar storms can be much worse and can go on for long periods of time and potentially even wipe out life on Earth. Um, Robert Schock is a geologist and he's come up with a theory that he believes that, I believe it's either solar storms or solar flares. I'm going to provide links, again I'm doing this off the top of my head, I'm going to provide links so that you can look this up yourself. But he's hypothesized that 12,000 years ago uh, uh, when there was a mass extinction that it was caused by a solar flare or solar event and that it wiped out much of life on Earth. Uh, I, now, there's some uh, debate over whether it was an asteroid or a solar storm. Uh, based on my opinion and the evidence, I think it's both. I, I think that asteroids, comets came down, wiped out a lot of life. There were solar storms or solar flares as well that contributed to this, uh, made life literally a hell on earth for a long period of time, thousands of years. Um, there was m major issues here on earth. Um, so I'll provide a link once again to Robert Schock uh, and him talking about these, these events and the extinction level events because of the sun. So one other thing I'd like to talk about, I think this is important, and it, it reflects on some of the things I've heard Robert Schock speak about. We're all familiar with cavemen. We think, you know, tens of thousands of years ago before, you know, uh, humankind uh, became sophisticated, that our ancestors were cavemen living in caves. That's just false. Absolutely false. The reason we find them living in caves, it's not that they didn't have the capacity to build homes. Uh, they, and they, they say, oh, we're just going in this cave. It's not the issue. The reason they were in caves for long periods of time is because there was catastrophe outside. There were massive solar storms, solar radiation, solar flares. The only place that you could survive were in caves or underground. If you're out on the surface, forget about it. You're dead. You're dying. Robert Schock also uh, points to some of the cave paintings and the drawings, some of the drawings. I mean, obviously, you may be familiar with, you know, they draw animals and whatever. That's not what we're talking about here. Uh, the cavemen, when they were in there, they were drawing these these symbols and 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 
representations that he believes are very indicative of plasma. Uh, when plasma and that when plasma hits the earth in the skies you see they make these these symbols and these 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 shapes. That's what he believes the cavemen were drawing in the caves. They were showing what they saw in the sky. It was the sun going nuts and wiping out all life on earth. I'll provide links. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone.